Uh, former WWE diva Tiffany was supposed to wrestle out on the West Coast against cheerleader Melissa, and there's been some speculation that she may show up in TNA. Uh, so, you know, uh, I'm not sure, but I do believe we may have a caller. Can I get your, uh, your name and your location, sir? Yeah, my name's Rusty in New York City. Hey, caller, how are you doing? I'm doing great. I'm loving this conversation. Uh, you guys were mentioning TNA Wrestling, and they, they've they signed a couple new wrestlers that I think show quite a bit of promise, and I want to kind of get you guys' opinions on them. And I didn't know if you heard, they just recently signed Mike, the Spooge Gobbler Morales. He's one of the grandchildren of Pedro Morales. You familiar with him? I haven't, uh, I haven't heard about the signings, Trip. Have you heard about that? Uh, no, I missed that signing. You didn't hear they signed his name's the Spooge Gobbler, and his finishing move is he sucks the guy's cock until the guy passes out. Uh, yeah, sorry about that, guys. Uh, uh, I don't know what to say about that, except uh, thanks for your uh, unwanted comment. The, uh, the stuff uh, I think should be really, uh, really, uh, as far as the things we go forward, Excuse me, I missed what you said. Uh, I just think, uh, you know, with the thing, the way things are uh, kind of going, man, I think it should be, uh, and they kind of see uh, how. Uh, yeah, we uh, we got one more caller. We're gonna try. Hopefully. I think Richard really threw him. Yeah, he's having trouble getting that shit together, right? I I don't know what happened there. Yeah. This is uh, the real deal. Hey, how you doing, guys? What was up with that buffoon talking about that goblin nonsense, idiot? Uh, yeah, I couldn't agree with you more, man. So do you have, what kind of interesting stuff do you have going on today? You know, I'm a big fan of the classic wrestlers, and I wanted to ask you, whatever happened to the tag team duo, John the Boy Toucher Hine and Gary the Sleeper Delabate? What mm. happened to those two? Do you have any knowledge of these guys? Because uh, it's a little bit yeah, yeah, it, they, These guys had a great move. Gary would jump into the ring and take a nap while he was supposed to be doing his job wrestling. And then John the Boy Toucher Hine would run into the audience and start groping all little boys, grabbing their penises oh, and geez. whatnot until the cops came. Oh, man. Uh, seems like we lost that caller. Oh, <laughs> you didn't lose him. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, trip, man. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what's up with these callers today, man. I think uh, I think these uh, these wrestling fans have uh, lost their mind this morning. <laughs> you think? Wow. Well, there's the boys. They... This bit that Sal and Richard put together, I thought it was pretty good. They called a wrestling show. I didn't even know all these shows exist on the yeah, internet. Yeah, you said this is an internet show. Yeah, internet radio. The only thing that really saved WrestleMania from being a total disaster was The Undertaker and Shawn Michaels. You got to be serious, you know. Let's be a little more serious about this matter. WrestleMania looked, looked about as disappointing in all possible ways as much as Starcade 97 looked very disappointing. Okay. We've got two callers. Okay. Both of them are in the six four six. How you doing? Hello. Hey, can How you, you hear me? Doing? Yeah. Back am I on? on? Am I yes, on? You're on. Oh, yeah. hey. How you guys doing today? Good. How are you? Doing good over here. Talk about WrestleMania. I really miss the good old days. You know, when it's like Adrian Adonis. I miss Lou Albano and yeah. Andre the Giant and Bob Backlund and. Blue Meanie and you know Berserker. And Blue was a really big Bam Bam Bigelow and <laughs> Junkyard <laughs> Dog and I miss Conquistador and I miss you know, Spike days, Dudley. I miss Dory Funk and Flash Funk and the Haas Funk and Terry Funk. Okay, and I know. Okay, I know. I know how much you miss there. I just muted you here, you know. And uh, you tell me what you miss and everything, you know. What was uh? What was your, uh, as I bring you back on the air, I got to ask you, what's your uh, general general feeling on uh, WrestleMania? Because uh, that's what this is about. <laughs> it was about the wrestling back then when it was Hillbilly Jim and Kabuki and Jerry the King Lawler and <laughs> and when it was Mantar and Manu. Manu. <laughs> okay, uh, I do apologize there. He, uh, you know, he's just uh, going off names there, and uh, I wasn't going to take that much longer. <laughs> But uh, this guy brought up Hillbilly Jim, you know. Hello. Caller, you're on the air. Okay. Yeah. Hey, you guys are talking about Hillbilly Jim? Yeah. yeah he, was, he was a wonderful, he was one of my favorite wrestlers. I remember one time I was in Mobile, Alabama, and I saw a Hillbilly Jim 
uh, Rassel that night. And the great thing about him is that he was a man of the people. We went to a bar afterwards, and he was drinking beer with us. And, you know, yeah. we went into the bathroom, and I sucked this cock. It was huge. He, the guy was just a real good sport at all that shit. I loved him. Big Becker, too, man. And he oh, yeah, yeah. He like a wild yeah. animal. <laughs> okay, good enough for you. Uh, good enough for you. You know, if you're going to... If you're going to call up and do crank calls, you don't need to be here. <laughs> you know, this crank. is about WrestleMania. This is not about uh, the things you want to do, buddy. <laughs> Caller 646, I'm going to let you back on, but uh, you don't need to be uh, uh, strolling with names. I forgot to yeah. mention Lanny Poffo, <laughs> leaping Lanny Poffo, and oh, one yeah. man. Oh, man. <laughs> okay, good enough for me. You're going to stay on mute for the rest of the show. <laughs> no, honestly, fine. If I have to, you know, just uh, take this number, you know, and... Uh, and uh, present it to uh, one, of, one of the officials, then that's what I'm going to do. Okay, uh, you're on the air. Officials. You're on the air. Is this Sammy Ressler? It's me, man. Thanks for picking up the call. I'm sorry about all those yeah, idiotic, no stupid uh, calls before, man. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, back in 79, I gave Chief J. Strongmore a head job. While all the McDaniels was sucking my cock. Uh, oh, whatever you say, buddy. That's the last call, too. As a matter of fact, I'm going to uh, I'm going to let it be known that you're under the name Sammy Wrestler, and I'm going to just basically uh, basically ask that you be taken care of. As a matter of fact, I'm going to go one step better, and I'm just going to throw the ban on you. Throw the you are ban. actually uh, I'm banning you for a month until you decide to show a better attitude. Uh, and <laughs> most of all, I'm hanging up on you too. Uh, so now. You don't get to be here for any of my shows, buddy. <laughs> That's just rude. You know, plain rude. Right. <laughs> I'm banning you till you show a better attitude. <laughs> uh, there's no better attitude coming out of those two. Anyway, I thought that was kind of fun, the wrestling show.